uh, dear Professor Sachs, do you think this wave, this ESG wave, is here to stay or is a fad? Does this have anything to do with ending poverty in any sense? The ESG wave mostly has to do with the environmental crisis. So the, the E of the ESG, the environmental, it's not a fad because the environmental crisis is deep and the uh, business world is as slow to get to it as the governments have been. And for the same reason, <laughs> because the businesses lobby the governments. Uh, so ESG is not going away in the sense that we absolutely need environment, a, a strong shift of environmental management. We need to decarbonize the energy system. We need sustainable land use practices. We need to end the mega pollution. Uh, we need to take care of these zoonotic uh, diseases like COVID-19. So in that sense, it won't go away. The S part is uh, also meaningful because it's the social component. And what it has stood for in practice is get children out of uh, the child labor uh, and out of your supply chains and so forth, all quite useful. Uh, it's of still limited applicability. I won't, I could go on for a long time. It's a rich subject. There's a lot of gimmickry in ESG. There's a lot of greenwashing in ESG, but the underlying motivation is real and we shouldn't view it only cynically. We should view it as a positive, still flawed response to a real set of challenges that are absolutely legitimate and therefore not merely a fad. What about the G? The, the G is uh, governance that, and many parts of governance. First, that companies should operate according to ethical principles, which should be spelled out. So we need an ethics of business. I, I saw uh, Klaus uh, Dirksmeyer on the line uh, a moment ago. He's a world leader in, uh, in that. There's Klaus. Uh, and uh, he's a world leader in thinking about that. You know, in the Bible, we didn't have corporations, so we don't have much good philosophy about uh, corporate responsibility. Uh, so we need to bring this up to the 21st century. Uh, our philosophers did not speculate about the corporate form. And when the corporate form was born in the East India Company in 1602 and so on, it had an evil birth, by the way. Uh, companies, this uh, limited liability is really meant get away with what you can, personal armies, all sorts of horrible uh, parts to real capitalism uh, as it grew up over the last 500 years. Uh, and so uh, we really need a, an ethics of governance. Uh, and part of that is how the purpose of of enterprise and how enterprise relates to government itself, not running it, but actually paying taxes. That would be nice, for example. <laughs>